At the height of his career in the 90s, Greg Valentino had the world's biggest biceps. With a circumference of 28 inches, these were the result of hardcore steroid abuse. But it's not just bodybuilders using performance-enhancing drugs anymore. City worker Andy has taken steroids for two years. He buys them from a dealer at his local gym. I started taking them because I felt I couldn't get any bigger training naturally. It was the next step for me. There's immense pressure to look good. It's part of the culture we live in. Andy, do you know any other people that take them? Yes, I know quite a few and they don't regret taking them either. We all want that big figure. One American academic says the pressure on young men to look good has increased over the years. Here, for example, is Luke Skywalker from, from Star Wars when the movie first came out in 1980. And here is the same Luke Skywalker when the movie was reissued by the mid-1990s. Young men turning to steroids appears to be a growing trend in the capital. One Needle Exchange in Soho says it's seeing more steroid users than ever before. Definitely our numbers are increasing um, on a regular basis. I've been working with steroid users for about 16 years and when I first started working with them, um, guys were normally in their late 30s, a traditional bodybuilder. And now the average age is about 23. Anabolic steroids are Class C drugs. They can be injected or taken as tablets and there are almost 100 different types. While it's illegal to sell or distribute them, using them isn't against the law, and they're not hard to get hold of. An online search for Buy Steroids London brings up more than half a million results. The Home Office estimates that 60,000 people in the UK used steroids last year, but the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence says the figure is likely to be three times that number. Because of the problem, the health watchdog advised gyms to provide sharp spins for the safe disposal of needles as part of new guidelines last year. We'd say that that's a really important thing to do. One of the recommendations in the guideline was very much around availability of sharp spins because the focus of the guideline is about reducing harm, reducing risk of infection. Easy Gym told us they've installed sharp spins in all of their gyms. Virgin Active, Fitness First and David Lloyd said some of their clubs also have them. All the gyms said they had a zero-tolerance approach to steroids and the bins are a health and safety measure for diabetic members and the disposal of razors. However, BBC London has seen used syringes disposed of in several gyms around the capital. Steroids might enhance performance and make muscles grow bigger, faster, but there's a list of potential side effects from hair loss and acne to depression, liver and heart problems. For 17-year-old Matthew Deer from Southend, the side effects were fatal. He had a, an adverse reaction to the anabolic steroids that he was taking. One good thing is that we're actually talking about it now. When we lost Matthew um, nearly six years ago now, a lot of people were hoping that it was a problem that wasn't going to you know, boil over and I think we're now at that point where we are boiling over. The Department of Health told us it recognises that steroid use is rising and it's giving local authorities more funding to help tackle the issue. However, if users like Andy remain casual about the side effects, the problem is likely to get worse before it gets better. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.